Do you know that your FPV drone, almost every FPV drone that you fly, can have the circular geofence option? And you even do not have to have any special magic. Okay, maybe that much of the magic. But first, let's answer the question of what geofence is. It's just a function of the drone, where the drone will not fly into certain areas or will not be allowed to fly too far from you. You fly too far from yourself, enter the restricted zone and the multi-rotor drone just stops, goes home and lands or just doesn't want to go any further, just like the DJI drones do. If you fly the do-it-yourself multi-rotor FPV drone, then you might think that for you this is not really an option, even if the local regulator requires you to have a function like this built in. So you either fly in the pirate mode or get yourself a DJI. However, there is something special you can do. If your drone has the GPS, barometer and the magnetometer installed, you can have a basic geofence function for free. All you have to do is to flash enough. Yes, if your multi-rotor drone is flashed with INAV and your multi-rotor drone is capable of position hold and return to home, you can have a basic circular geofence for free. But dear FPV professor, how to do it, you might ask? Well, quite simple. Let me show you. First of all, your multi-rotor drone has to have GPS, magnetometer, barometer has to be flashed with INAV6 and be ready to fly. The links to the tutorials on how to flash INAV, how to set up INAV, how to migrate beta flight to INAV and finally how to prepare your multi-rotor drone for the position hold and the return to home are in the description of the video. If you don't know how to do it, just go there, click there, watch and you will find out that, well, it's pretty simple. And then the magic begins, because we will use the programming framework to set up a basic circular geofence. In the example I will show you, the geofence will be actually pretty simple. It will measure how far your multi-rotor drone is from where you took off, from the home position. If the distance is above one kilometer, it will engage the return to home, go home and disengage the return to home where you are 500 meters from the home position. Let's go. As you can see, my multi-rotor FPV drone is prepared for the flight with the option of having both the position, hold and the return to home because I have the magnetometer, barometer and the GPS. The link to the tutorial on how to do it with INAV is in the description of this video. The first thing that we have to do is go to the modes channel and assign the return to home flight mode to the RC channel that we are not using. You just have to pick an RC channel that you are not actively using on your radio. In my case, this is RC channel 14 and I have assigned the NAV return to home mode to activate when the channel 14 is at the value of 2000. You might notice that I also have the return to home on the channel 6, but the channel 6 is one of the RC channel that my radio is transmitting. So I will have the option to activate return to home either by the flip of the switch or when the geofence kicks in. Once return to home is assigned to the unused channel, in our case, channel 14, we can go to the programming tab to set up the programming framework for the geofence option. And this is how the basic geofence program looks like. Complicated? Not really, it's only 11 different operations. If you don't want to set everything manually, in the description of the video there is a link to the snippet of the CLI with exactly this program. The first two logic conditions are the check on when the geofence should kick in. In this case, on the line zero, we check if our multi-rotor drone is armed. And on the second line, in the logic condition one, we check if the home distance is above 1000 meters. And finally, the logic condition two is the end operator that will return one, 
true if both of the first conditions are met. That means we are armed and above 1000 meters from the home position. In the logic condition true, we will make use of the global variables and write 1 to the global variable 0, but only if the end condition is evaluated as true. That means we are armed and at least one kilometer from home. This line is the condition to activate the geofence. If the conditions to activate are met, then we will set 1 to the global variable 0. The next three logic conditions are required to deactivate the geofence. First of all, we will check if the home distance is below 500 meters. And second of all, we will check if we are not armed. The logic condition 0, this one over here, is evaluated as not. And when any of those conditions, logic condition 4 or 5, are true, then we will set the global variable 0 to value 0. You see, activated only when logic condition 6 evaluates as 1, and this is a signal that we should stop running the geofence function. And then the remaining four logic conditions are only to overwrite the RC channel. In the logic condition 8, we check if the global variable holds the value 0, the one when we should deactivate, and in the next one we check if the global variable 0 holds the value 1, the one when we should activate. And then we overwrite the RC channel 14 with the value 1000, return to home not activated, when logic condition 8 is evaluated as true. This is the condition when we do not engage the geofence or disengage the geofence. And finally, in the logic condition 11, we check if the logic condition 9 evaluates as 1, we check if the global variable 0 holds the value 1, and then set the RC channel 14 to value 2000. And this is the value in which, on our mode stop, we configured the RC channel 14 to activate the return to home mode. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And of course, write in the comment on what you think about this, let's be honest, pretty amazing functionality that you get for free together with INAF, of course. With a program like that, next time when you will fly, when you will fly at least one kilometer from the home position, the multirotor drone will engage the return to home, go to the 500 meters check mark, and then disengage the return to home. You can, of course, simply modify this program not to disengage the return to home at all when the distance condition is met, then the multirotor drone will just go home and land and finally disarm. That's it. 12 different simple logic conditions that unblock you from having an active, operational, yet of course simple, geofence option for your drone. Of course, as long as you are flying enough, which kinda you should, I highly recommend it. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!